<clears throat> Hello everyone, this is Venom Geek Media here with another Bionicle mock vlog. This uh, week we're looking at Makuta Kodrax. Um, this is again a bit of a change of pace, so this is in post Matoran universe. This is set during the Matoran universe. He is one of the Makuta, one of the Brotherhood, and he was one of the ones who supported Makuta Miserix and as a result was killed by Pterodax. Um, so that's basically the outline of character. Uh, he's a loner, he's a... he operates in sort of the Arm Islands and is quite sort of a loner, feared and despised by most, even other Makuta. Uh, partly because of his mask, he has the mask of fear. Um, and that's about it. Let's just get right into it. So. Essentially, we'll look at the build first, so he's a bit different. I kind of based it off the first Makuta set, so regular Makuta, who we later learn is Pterodax 2003 uh, set. So that's kind of the regular Makuta form, the sort of the battle, the warrior form, I think would be a good description. So this is Kodrax's warrior form. Uh, and we'll take a, So it's similar, but it's different. As you can see, it's got the core of sort of a... Rakshi back, which contains a um, crater slug. Um, he's got a similar torso construction, kind of. I kind of winged it with that. Um, and that's about, I mean, that's about where the similarities end. But you can tell he's Makuta, he does look a bit villainous, but he's he's one of the ones of misery. So while he might not be very pleasant, he's not a bad guy. Uh, he's just not very nice in a bit grumpy to say the least um, so looking at his build let's look at what he's got so he's got as I said he has a staff the staff of corrosion this recall so essentially every time he hits something with that could be a sword could be armor but it corrodes a little bit so if he keeps on hitting someone in the same place Eventually the armour will corrode to the point where it's really weak and you can just break through and kill you. And on the other arm, he has a sort of Thornax Zamor launcher. So let's look at the build. So his leg construction is a bit different. Uh, to give him a lot of height, which I couldn't really get on this camera. I mean, I'll see. So this is him at full height. As you can see, he's just peering out the frame. I'll try and frame him. A bit better. There you go. He's he's quite tall. He's quite... so if that. So essentially, what it is is it's built out of three. It's a three bit leg. So you have the lower leg, which is a metro piece. The middle leg, which is sort of the extender, and that's a CCBS elbow slash knee leg piece. Um, and then you have the upper leg piece, Anika. Um, and that's his leg construction. Looking at his torso, um, it's kind of using these technic lift arms from. So it's very complicated. I use basically the rock shoe back as a base, built things backwards. So then I use these hand pieces, put these lift arms, uh, connected them to this metro piece with this piece. And then I mounted limbs on the lift arms and other things as well. Um, so it's not massively complex. It was quite instinctive, intuitive as a build goes. Um, everything kind of just makes things bigger. And, there are, and that's kind of similar in terms of the framing to Pterodact, crucially. Um, and then further up you have... Um, these and these kind of the these pieces and then these all just kind of adding a bit of cladding and a bit of mass to him because he's quite skinny. He's meant to be. Um, he's with the he's actually the best fighter in the Brotherhood. It took both Pterodax and Icarax to kill him. Uh, a fight that would be to see. Um, you can see he's got shadow leeches up on his shoulders. You've got a well-covered back with just a rakshi foot and that's about it for the build um, he has a few functions as well 
for functions he has essentially three or two so you can lift up his head as the ball for the rock shoe piece and you move these two out the way and it launches across a slug I don't have across a slug that was actually a squid a baraki squid but that's one function uh, which is nice it gives him a good bit of playability obviously the thorax launcher and another function I'll just put these back another function additional arms additional claw pieces these are really good they kind of give him a bit more of an insectoid um, appearance uh, which is really good he, you know he's very insectoid and it's kind of rem reminiscent of Brutaka so there we go those are the functions and the features of this mock so let's get into the pros and cons my goodness this is a long video right so pros he has a consistent color scheme which includes white red which is good because that and sort of light blue and turquoise and silver so he has a consistent color scheme and it's kind of well spread throughout the model the main your main colors are you reds and whites but there are the turquoises and light blues in the form of like the shallow leeches limb pieces um, that's cool he has a good construction it's very solid construction yeah, there is only a um, which is good uh, he has a very solid look uh, he has functions he has three functions um, which is good he's tall he's very tall because of his limb con his lower limb construction um, he's a CCBS system hybrid uh, he's well armoured he's well covered and yeah it's just a good cool custom build so what are the cons what are the issues with this stability that's the big thing this guy has a lot of I think there's several reasons so his feet construction um is sort of titanish it's a baraki mandible and a claw piece and that is it that is his feet construction and that does aid in stability he can go further back than otherwise but the trouble is is that there is essentially one ball joint one ball joint connecting his feet to the rest of his body so all the weight of his body which is quite considerable is resting on that ball joint so stuff's going to go wrong um, so you've got that again and that's sort of the problem uh, any other cons? so there's a bit of a loose his construction gets a little bit loose here um, not there here so what happens is I can just sort of pop that forward it can't come all the way out <clears throat> but it does sort of slide out and pop in it doesn't disrupt it um, but it is kind of a bit annoying uh, any other issues he's well covered he's a well covered model um, and got a very solid look some people might not like the turquoise elements of the colour the turquoise and light blue elements of the colour scheme those are a bit off putting uh, his weapon his staff is pretty simple pretty basic um, yeah but overall I like him he's quite a good mock I like him he's my he's one of my first kind of old style custom builds I've done a few sort of unique post Anika style custom builds um, but he's a very sort of 2003 to 2005 style build um, and I like that um, I would say that's about it I, he's, he's a cool character he has a very good look he's clearly a Makuta but he's not aggressive for now thank you for watching please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video